Hey folks, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mass create documents using the popular document generator add on called Form Publisher. You can also do the same using Google Apps Script. I'll be leaving a video and a blog link in the description. You can go and check that out. Also, guys, this is the 50th video on my channel. Thank you so much for supporting all the videos through this year. Also, we're very close to 500 subscribers. So, if you haven't subscribed, then just go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Let's get started with this video. So the test case that we have for this video is as follows. We have some details of residents staying in a society and we need to send out maintenance bills that uh, that contain the property tax, repairing fund, maintenance charges and the total. So we need, uh, we need to display that in a maintenance bill template that is there in a Google Doc. So we're going to be using the popular add-on Form Publisher. So what is Form Publisher? Form Publisher is a document generator that can be used to generate PDFs, Google Docs, slides and more. You can create customized documents with data present in Google Sheets. To know, know more about Form Publisher, I'll be leaving their official website link in the description you can go and check that out so this is the sample google sheet that we have we have the name of the residents the flat number tower email address property tax that they have to pay repairing fund maintenance charges and the total to calculate the total we have used the sum formula where we have passed the range if you can see if i double click here you're going to see e2 so it's going to be adding all the data that is present in the cells from e2 to g2 and I have just dragged this formula by clicking on this blue one, blue button and it's applied to all the formulas here. And if you talk about the color, how I've added the color, you just need to select the data where you want to add. You just go to the format and it's called alternating colors where you can select, you can have custom colors and stuff like that. So what we're going to be doing is the second thing is going to be installing the form publisher add-ons. To install, we're going to be going to add-ons. If you have previously created add-ons, you can see them here. So I'm going to just click on add-ons, get add-ons and it, this will take you to the Google Workspace Marketplace where you can access all types of add-ons. So I'm just going to search form publisher here and you can see the form publisher made by Awesome Gaps. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to be clicking on install and then I'll just click continue and just you need to just select the email address and just accept all the terms and conditions here. Just scroll down and click on allow. And now the form publisher add-on will get added and it's, it's successfully installed in your Google Sheet. I'm just going to close this out. Close this and after installing, you'll be getting an email saying that uh, welcome to form publisher and stuff like that. So now we now what we're going to be doing is uh, working on the template that we have here. So I'm just going to drag this out separately. I'm going to keep this here. So now in the build to section, I want to put the name of the resident. If you are doing this in Google Apps Store, you be, we would be using the two brackets one. But since this is a form publisher, they have given a special format by which you can add data from the Google Sheet into your Google Doc template. So I'm just you need to open you to open this and close this. And here you need to write the exact column name. So it's going to be name. So I'm just going to put this here. Then the address that is there. I'm just going to be adding the flat number. So you need to open the signs, close them. And here I'm going to be writing the exact same. That's going to be flat number. Then and I'm going to be adding little space. And I'm going to be adding the tower where the residents live. I'm going to close this. Then this all data is going to be same. And if I scroll down here a bit more. I'm going to drag this here. It's going to be the property tax amount. So the property tax column is, 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 is just property tax. So I'm just going to go to this amount here. I'm going to open the signs again and I'm going to just type in property tax. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for repairing fund and for the maintenance charges. And in the end, as, as we scroll down here, I want to add the total one. I'm just going to remove this out. This is going to, this is all going to be in rupees. So I'm just going to open it. I'm going to open this here and I'm going to just type in total. Put this back here. And here you can see that the a template is ready to go. And clear this out here. The total has successfully come here and we have just said pay the bill. I'm just going to change this to say 29th. October I'm going to make this at 29 October and our template is ready and good to go. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to go to the add-on. So we're just going to refresh this. And if you've installed everything successfully, the form publisher will add-on will pop up on the right side and I'm just going to open the add-on here. I'm just going to do a refresh here. 
and here we have directly come upon this so we're just going to be selecting the template here i'm going to go to the select template button here and either you can use a template that is already provided by form publisher or you can select a one of your own so we're going to be we have our own so i'm just going to go and click on select and it's going to be taking you to your google drive where your template is stored so documents is going to be test file one i'm just going to click on select and the google doc will get added here and now if i go here the next next setting that we need to add is the destination folder so uh, normally form publisher already creates a new folder but if you want you want to a specific or customizable folder you can click on change which will take you to google drive and there you can select the folder or you can create a new one here i'm just going to be leaving that as same the, the destination folder i'm going to be leaving it as the default one created by form publisher if I scroll down the naming convention here, so I have already added the name and the flat number that's going to be there. So the the name of the resident followed by the flat number of the resident. I'm just going to click on save here. And now that everything is ready, the last one is going to be the output file format. So whether do you want it to be in the in a form of a Google Doc or a PDF? Since this is going to be a bill, I would prefer it to be in the form of a PDF. It's going to select this. Going to I'm just going to click on save and now all the features are, are ready to go you can either test a file to check whether everything is coming or you can just directly click on generate files so i'm just going to click on generate files here and you'll see in a few seconds there will be additional columns added by form publisher where the link and the generation status of all the bills will be displayed you can see here a first first doc has been created so if i go to r nirani 16 if i go here you can see all the details have come in that's going to be the address that's going to be the tower and the email address and the name of the resident the file name has also come in the name and the tower or the flat number of the resident then we have the items the property tax 7823007 and in the end the total that is 4527 so here you can see this is how you can bulk create documents using form publisher so this is all for this video i hope you have understood how to bulk create documents using form publisher i'll be leaving the the google doc template and the google sheet link in the description you can go and check that out now that we have got all the links into our google sheet in the next video i'm going to be showing you how you can send these links to the residents using a, a popular mail merge add-on known as yet another mail merge if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i will see you in the next one